Hi boys and girls, this is Pastor Stan from Words of Life Kids Church. So glad you are viewing today. We've got another great Bible lesson, and today we're talking about the subject of loving people who don't love Jesus. Another way we could say that is loving the lost. And another way we could say that is loving the person who is not yet saved. Did you know, boys and girls, that Jesus loves everybody? Even the ones who, who hated him, even the ones who spit upon him, even the ones who beat him up. Did you know that when he went to the cross, he said some very important words to the Father God, to his heavenly Father. He said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they're doing. You see, if, if they knew what they were doing, I don't think they would have done what they did but they were lost. They didn't know that they were actually killing the Son of God. But guess what? Jesus also knew that He was taking our place and that He was taking their place on the cross. And He knew that He wasn't just going to die physically or spiritually, but He was going to come back to life. And that's what happened on the third day. And that's what the resurrection is all about. And that's why God could say that he loved the whole world and loves the whole world that he could give his only begotten son. You see, let me just say that again a little bit clearer. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world. And if he loves the world, and the world was actually at odds against him, in other words, the Bible says that when we were yet enemies, Christ died for us. If he loved the world, then with his love now, because we are his children, we can love the lost too. And we can love the unsaved. We can love people who are not yet loving Jesus, even when they might be mean to us and say even mean things about Jesus. You know, obviously it must grieve the Father's heart when he hears how you know mean things said. But we also know that God is a, a forgiving God and he loves us and he forgives us for our trespasses, he forgives us for our sins. And so he wants us to take the love that he's given to us and share that love with people who are not yet following Jesus. You know, it's real clear, boys and girls. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And everyone who follows me, they will come to the Father. And boys and girls, it's so important that we learn to love people who are not yet loving Jesus and tell them how much God loves them so that they can be born again, so they can become a child of God just like you. If you've accepted Jesus into your heart, you're a child of God today. Have confidence in this. You're born again, you're saved. And with the love that God has put inside of you, you can love the world with. In fact, you know what Jesus said? He said, and I'm gonna say it again, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. Boys and girls, if we're going to follow Jesus, then we need to follow in his steps. And he walked in steps of love. He loved the sinner. He loved the one who didn't love him. And we need to do that, and we can do that. With his help and his help alone, we can love everybody who doesn't love Jesus. In fact, uh, one of the ways that we can improve in our love walk is by reading our Bibles and getting the heart of Jesus through the words that are written for us. And in 1 Corinthians 13, we understand, or we get a definition, I should say, of what love is. So I want to encourage boys and girls out there who are able to read, you're old enough to read, uh, to open up your Bibles and go to 1 Corinthians 13. And if, you're, if parents are watching this and their little ones can't read yet, I encourage you to open up the Bible with them and go to 1 Corinthians 13 and read what God's love is and what God's love does. You know, when we're walking in love with God and with people, we're going to value Him and people as valuable and precious. So love, 
we might say, is the ability to see with glasses that see people as valuable and precious. But if we're not walking in love, it's like we're using glasses that are broken and all we see is their failure and all we see is maybe their hate or their greed or whatever it might be. All we see is their sin if we're not walking in love because love actually covers, boys and girls, a multitude of sin. You know, when God looks at us, He doesn't look at our sin. You know how He looks at us? He looks at us in Jesus. And when we look, and, and, and we look a whole lot better in Jesus, boys and girls, than we do outside of Jesus. So that's the way we're supposed to look at each other. And when we do that, we'll be able to win people to Jesus. In fact, the truth is, God has actually restored the world to harmony with Him all through His love and His love through Jesus Christ. So boys and girls, love the lost, people who don't know where they're going. They, they're not sure if they're going to heaven or if, or, or, or what's going on. They're just, they're just, they're confused. They don't know what's going on. Love people to Jesus. That's what God wants. God bless you, boys and girls. We love you. And remember, love the lost, love the unsaved the way Jesus does.